Yeah. Yeah, this is Delta Panero. In full effect. Yeah. And I've got some shit to say about tiny new audio book. Because he's made some controversial remarks in there that we not to wear like. First of all, the narrator sounds like a little white nitty. Sounds like Danny Dyer telling a story on black gangland Britain. And this white nitty is even using the nigger word. And if we find out which white man was mad enough to use the N word on a public platform, they were going to carve that up real nice. And they'll have tiny to blame for that. But aside from that little creative blunder, I have to wonder what Tiny's really on. I was around on the day that Fox and Tiny crashed Boogie's yard and robbed everybody inside. And in spite of my differences with Trev, that guy is my little bro for life. Yeah? And he was only 16 years old when Tiny robbed him of his car, you yeah, watch. So in my eyes, a certified nigga like Tiny should not be highlighting the fact that he was a juvenile just because that juvenile grew up to be somebody. Furthermore, Tiny acts like that violation went unanswered and it never A man then rallied up, bought machines, and drove Tiny straight into exile, which is why he ended up living in Brighton where he was arrested. I personally heard Trev tell my man that he was banned not only from the Bureau, but from the entire city of fucking London. And he complied with those demands fully. So don't let anybody tell you any different. Right now we've got newer guys like Testa pushing Blue Borough Unity. And I just have to rate that type of positive energy. Because all are gone, the Blue is a historical borough that has birthed many legends. Tiny included, that guy, Craver, Trevor. Sparks, me, Corleone, even the Andes have got their legends in their ranks. Damage, Mosh, Sanjay, Pigo. Our main problem is that we're known as a cutthroat town. Everybody's a snake, everybody's two-faced, everybody's back by. But fuck all of that now. It's 2021. And I can personally tell you, yeah, Tiny was indeed the most prolific robber that I've ever come across. And I've been around a long time. And also I'll tell you that he was definitely not the founder of GB. Yeah, I'm gonna say that one more time. Colin Robinson, aka Tiny, is definitely not the founder of GB. What I wanna know is why is he trying to shame his own first cousin, baby father? That guy's daughter is tiny little cousin. So he caught this that guy without affecting his own household. Not to mention that he should be beneath him to try and get props for shaming a killer of our community. So let me just say this before I get mad around here, yeah? We do not air our dirty laundry public pendejo. Everything that happened back in the day is water under the fucking bridge, yeah? We can all take shots if we choose to, or if we want to go down that road. It's long, yeah? What we should be doing is coming together and creating the real big story 2.0. Yeah? And making some real news. The real members in the club are shutting down a fucking industry. Because guess what? As much as the blue story by rap is a little bit annoying, it did, however, open certain doors for us as an area. And the real story that we all have to tell is 50 times more interesting than Ratman's fictional account. No this. So let's stop acting like crabs in a bucket, yeah? And group up and take our place at the top of the entertainment game and stop taking shots about old news, yeah? Because old news is old news, yeah? 
من من این چرا دیدی نورا فاکورا انجو لا برا یه لسنو 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 ایون کوره ایون برا یه دوپی آو شو 